The Y-20 has been operational for about a decade, and China has focused on developing the Y-20 fleet to support longer-range military operations. After debuting at the Dubai Air Show in December 2023, the Y-20E multi-role transport aircraft is ready to be exported. China is eyeing Nigeria as a potential customer for its Y-20E multi-role transport aircraft, the largest military aircraft currently in production. The aircraft, nicknamed Chubby Girl, was showcased to the Nigerian Defense Minister during his visit to Beijing in November 2023. The Y-20E is China's answer to the US C-17 Globemaster and the Soviet Aleutian 76, both of which are widely used by many countries for strategic airlift missions. The Y-20E has a payload capacity of 73 short tons, which can be used to transport troops, vehicles, weapons, and humanitarian aid. The aircraft can also operate in diverse conditions, such as high altitude, hot weather, and rough terrain. The Y-20 was developed by China's state-owned aerospace major, Xi'an Aircraft Corporation, and has an empty weight of 110 short tons, making it the largest military aircraft currently in production. China has been increasing its production capacity of the Y-20E in anticipation of export orders. The aircraft was first displayed at the Dubai Air Show in December 2023, where it attracted attention from many countries. The export version of the Y-20E has some modifications from the domestic version, such as a different engine and avionics. China pitches its own C-17 Globemaster to Nigeria, comes after talks of stealth fighter deal with Pakistan. After debuting at the Dubai Air Show in December 2023, the Y-20E multi-role transport aircraft is ready to be exported. Media reports suggest that the largest military aircraft currently in production and nicknamed Chubby Girl is being offered to Nigeria. This comes after reports that Beijing is planning to sell its stealth J-31 fighters to Pakistan. The Y-20E is part of China's ambition to expand its foothold in the global aviation industry as well as to boost its influence in Africa. China has been portraying itself as a partner of African countries, offering them economic and military assistance without interfering in their internal affairs. China also has plans to support local production of military equipment in Nigeria, which has abundant natural and human resources. Nigeria, as Africa's most populous and largest economy, is an important market for China. Nigeria has been facing security challenges from various insurgent groups, such as Boko Haram and the Islamic State West Africa province. Nigeria also has a large and diverse air force, which operates a mix of Western and Russian aircraft. The Y-20E could provide Nigeria with a strategic advantage in terms of mobility and logistics, as well as strengthen the bilateral ties between the two countries. With the capability equivalent to the USC-17 Globemaster. The aircraft has made China the third country after the US and Russia to have a domestically developed military-grade multi-role transport aircraft. The Y-20 was developed by China's state-owned aerospace major and has an empty weight of 110 short tons, making it the largest military aircraft currently in production. The aircraft is larger than the Russian Aleutian 76, the aircraft that formed the backbone of the PLA Air Force's transport fleet. Boeing's C-17 Globemaster III is bigger than the Y-20, but its production stopped in 2015. Beijing is increasing its production capacity in anticipation of export orders for the aircraft. The export version of the Y-20E was shown to visiting Nigerian Defense Minister Mohamed Badar Abu Bakar in Beijing. The Chinese military magazine Ordnance Industry Science Technology reported this last week that the Y-20BE the export model was put on the international market in November 2023 when it was shown to the Nigerian Defense Minister, the South China Morning Post reported. According to the report, it will be an opportunity for China to establish deeper strategic relationships and cooperation with countries once they have the Y-20. The report highlighted how instead of the aircraft being assembled at a fixed workstation, there is a pulse line to move parts along. The Y-20's assembly lines are similar to those used to manufacture state-of-the-art aircraft like Lockheed Martin's F-35 and Boeing 787. Over 90% of Y-20's components are manufactured using robotic arms and laser-assisted high-precision assembly work. 
As reported by the Eurasian Times earlier, the multi-role tanker aircraft Y-20U powered by four Shenyang WS-20s has boosted China's ambition to project power beyond the first chain of islands. The Y-20, officially called Kunpeng after a mythical Chinese bird, is powered by new engines, giving it far superior endurance and air refueling capability that will increase its reach beyond the first island chain, a string of islands encumbering the seas around China. The first island chain consists of a group of islands, including Taiwan, Okinawa, and the Philippines, which China sees as the first line of defense. The second island chain in the Western Pacific runs from southeastern Japan to Guam and south to Indonesia. When required, the Y-20 aircraft can be fitted as an airborne early warning and control version. The new engines will allow the Chinese Air Force to carry out offensive missions across continents. A capability imperative as it creates a network of overseas military bases to match the US dominance. Capability-wise Y-20 is similar to the U.S. military's workhorse C-17, which has been a game-changer in transporting troops and cargo across the world since its induction in 1995. The American strategic heavy lifter can easily haul troops and ammunition across continents, for instance, from the U.S. to Afghanistan. Since its induction into the service, Y-20's versatility has helped the PLA Air Force to quickly mobilize large forces and cargo with its payload capacity of 73 short tons. The payload capacity makes the Y-20 easily transport China's biggest tank, the ZTZ-99, along with other vehicles and supplies. With Russian engines, the Chubby Girl has a range of 4,850 miles while carrying 40 tons of cargo and 2,800 miles when fully laden. What the older version of the Y-20 lacked was the ability for hot and high take off, while the CE-17 could do it. Taking off from hot and high airfields can seriously affect the performance of all aircraft. Taking off from hot and high airfields can be tricky because of the lack of lift, reduced engine power, and reduced climb performance. This requires a reduction in the weight at which we can take off. This is known as a performance-limited take weight. Along with the hot and high capability, the WS-20 turbofan engine will give the chubby girl short takeoff capabilities and enhanced range. In addition to functioning as a transport, the Y-20 could be outfitted as a refueling tanker for other military aircraft or used as a strategic command center to coordinate fighter jets and drones in combat. <laughs>